Okay, welcome to Saturday morning. <laughs> Get in the zone. I, I can see how this is going to go already. I can see. <laughs> Uh, we we had a, like a, a kind of really strange introduction yeah, off air, but um, yeah, we're gonna try and keep it professional. <laughs> Saturday morning. Let's keep um, our composure. Let's keep our composure this morning. <laughs> now, welcome to the show. Saturday morning is a new guest. Yeah. Um, new into the music industry. Is that fair to say? Mm-hmm. Could you introduce yourself this morning, please? I'm Melissa Steele. Hi, Melissa guys. Melissa Steele. Welcome to the show. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so um, Melissa. Mm-hmm. How did it all start for you? And I mean, I don't know if you've been asked this question loads of times, but um, we like to just have a, like a little insight yeah. into the artist, where they come from, where did they emerge from? Mm-hmm. All of a sudden, you're here. Yeah. So, <laughs> well, it's not. It wasn't sudden. Let's just put it that way. Okay. 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 Yeah, because some people might not understand. Yeah. Yeah. No. Of course. Yeah. Of course. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, I've always grown up singing. Um, started performing at around eleven. Okay. Recorded my first song when I was 11. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, so that's when I first got into it. Um, and then at around 15, I started doing YouTube videos mm-hmm. and they started getting mad views. So that opened a lot of doors for me because I'm not from London, I'm from up north. So, I can hear a little accent. Yeah, from I'm from Bradford. Oh, Bradford, okay. Yeah, well, so that, Bradford. yay. <laughs> so that opened a lot of doors for me, um, you know, down here. Um, then I started recording down here made of like few relationships with people connections and stuff like that and then kind of it's just all happened really quickly right. ended up getting signed to atlantic records and i'm in a good place right now what oh, can wow. i say that's, that's amazing <laughs> so that's quite what few years that took just a few years yeah yeah it's a few years so but i've been working hard though i've been on hard. it <laughs> so what have you been doing hard then when you say you've been working hard what have you been doing like behind the scenes behind the scenes yeah what you been doing i've just been recording non-stop really yeah. since that age since i've recorded my first song really yeah and performing and just rehearsing and practicing for this this moment right now so so how different is the scene up in bradford compared to london was it a, a conscious decision that you said you know what i've got to come to london to make links is that because you know that um, if there's more people to connect with in london yeah, is that what it is i think that happened naturally and I, I mean i've always known it's better down here yeah. you know if you want to do music and stuff but it's I kind of just started coming down here naturally because I have family down here and then I started I made friends down here mm. and my best friend also lives down here so I was here quite a lot from 15 so yeah I've just kind of built that naturally and, and then what, what, what was you into when you were younger because you said you wrote your first song when you were like 11 years old yeah so I, what was the vibe what was you into <laughs> well I'm a 90s baby so I love the 90s R&B okay, the okay. Leas, the all Destiny's right. Child yeah, all them yeah. kind of people yeah. I was a fan of the Spice Girls when I was like five though <laughs> but that's <laughs> that's a completely different story no but they're a good group though yeah, I like Spice yeah. Girls yeah, yeah but who's your favourite Spice Mel B, obviously Mel B. Yeah, yeah. yeah I used to want to be her but yeah. um, <laughs> yeah I'm I'm on the R&B old school r&b all of that stuff that's what i grew up on in the reggae as well and you love reggae okay cool 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 so forwarding on now so you got your deal with atlantic yeah that's a big move isn't it yeah that's something to be like really happy with like i mean you know what i'm in such a happy place right now Mm. i do not have any reason to be unhappy so you're constantly smiling (laughs) yeah i'm just like i'm loving life (laughs) wow so how did that deal come about then um, I got introduced to my A&R. We had a meeting. Um, he was playing me some tunes. Mm. He um, he just so happened to play the demo for Kisses for Breakfast. And I kind of was just like, I want that song. Um, so sent me it. <laughs> sent me it. Bye, um, Mel. I've got to say bye to bye Mel. Mel. You know? Mel, she's leaving <laughs> this morning. You know, that, you know how long I've known this lady, you know, for a long time. I love Mel. And she still looks five years old. Oh! God. No, she looks young. She you, looks young. You, oh, like two years old. She looks two years youth's old. Youth's on her side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I gave, I gave her the secret, you know, the astral cream. I told oh her. I, don't, astral. I told her about the astral cream, and it's working. <laughs> oh. Yeah, but go on, anyway. So um. Yeah, I forgot what I was saying. Now. Yeah, what did you say? Now? <laughs> you just what? caught me off guard. <laughs> um, what was I saying? Oh yeah. So my A&R played me Kisses for Breakfast mm-hmm. the first time I met him. Mm. Um, obviously, I asked for the track because it sounded like something I would write. So, yeah, I did that, recorded it. Next thing I know, they've signed the single to be released and wow. then they signed me. So okay. it all kind of, once I recorded that song, it all just kind of fell together. Did they tell you on the spot? 
this or what? Like that, you, we're gonna sign you now. How I did, didn't I did, know. Like I didn't know. I just recorded the song and was like, "Yeah, cool. I've just recorded this song. It sounds good." Yeah. And then I think someone someone said it to me just really casually. They was like, "Oh yeah, that's being released as a single, like by Atlantic Records." And I was just like, "Pardon." Say what? <laughs> <laughs> but obviously, that's an amazing thing for me. Like I'm, I'm feel like I'm really ready for it. So. Wow. That's that's an achievement. It's amazing. Of course, Atlantic, one say. of the biggest record labels in oh, the world. God. Anyway, if you just locked on this morning, it's the Universal Show. We've got the lovely Melissa Steele in the building. Do you know what? Your your surname, you know? Yeah. You know I've got family with that surname. Really? Does it have an E yeah. on the end though? Probably does. No. Really? Okay, we might be um family somewhere down the line. Might, might be, might, but we'll talk about it off air though. We'll yeah. talk about it. Yeah, yeah. I don't want people, you know what I mean? Yeah. But, <laughs> 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 okay, so the single. Yeah. Tell me about the single. Because I, I like it. Yeah. I do like it. And then we're going to get into like, are you hooked up with um, Popcorn, obviously? Or was he on the track before? Or did you request him? Yeah. So tell us about the single. What's this single about? Well, the, Is it quite the, self-explanatory? Yeah, I think it's, it, very, it actually is self-explanatory. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. But um, yeah, it's basically just a fun song. Summary. It's got the island vibe to it. It's got a little dance hall vibe mm -hmm. going on. Um, and... Yeah, it's featuring Popcorn. It's basically about waking up next to the person you love and all that jazz. Aww. It's, it's a little cute. It's a cute song. It is a it's cute, a cute song. song. Kisses for breakfast, though. Yeah. Is that very important? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It is. <laughs> I don't know where you're going with this. <laughs> is that before he brushes his teeth or without brushing his teeth? He has to brush his teeth. Right? He has to brush his teeth. Of course. Wow. That means there's no love in there, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true, actually. <laughs> yeah, so the conscious decision to get popcorn. How did that hook him up? He, up? When I heard the demo, he was already on the song. Okay. Um, that usually happens, as you might know. But right. um, yeah, when, when we shot the video, um, I met him um, before we shot the video, and he's a really cool guy. We actually really get along. We went on a few nights out, went to a couple of parties. Okay. Rolling with the guys I'm on them. <laughs> <laughs> Did you like it? You like the whole vibe? Yeah, man. I mean, I usually go to Jamaica every year anyway mm -hmm. to see my family, but okay. um, that was my first time in Kingston. Right. So that was very, very live. Okay. And there was the carnival as well, so we oh, caught, wow. caught that right, right on time. Yeah. Have you um, been marketing that tuna in Jamaica as well? Not yet. Okay. So it's right now. It's just working its way through the UK and mm -hmm. then after that it will branch out okay so we'll definitely look forward to spinning it this morning most most definitely yeah um, so so tell me like Melissa like what what are you bringing <laughs> to the table like now you know what I mean because I mean you know like you know, I, I love this job that I do right because I interview people every week yeah you know what I mean so you know I see many different artists uh -huh. every week some new some established but I mean what are you bringing to the table that I doesn't think already exist in the UK without like I don't want to sound no I'm not arrogant at all but I my I think you can tell my voice like my voice is very unique I've got that like sweet tone going on I like it. <laughs> and I don't think I don't know any other UK female artist that's doing the whole dance hall vibe and R&B and stuff like R&B with dance hall mm, mm. will your whole sound like following tracks will they be like this I don't want to class myself as strictly a dance hall artist right but um with the album that I'm putting together, I mm. kind of want to, I don't want to stray too far from that. So right. it's always going to have that little hint, at least a hint. So of, your core music will be fair to say is dancehall. But I'd a, say, I'd say R&B with hints of dancehall. With hints of dancehall. Yeah. Okay. 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 So and you, reggae as well. And reggae as well. So who are your favourite dancehall artists? I love Popcorn, obviously. Yeah. Vibes. Mm. Um, I love Mavado. Mm. Um, Alkaline. No. You Conscience. Really? You like that? He's, he's got a, a few of his songs are a bit crude, though. But, yeah, um, yeah, the controversy around him at the moment is crazy. <laughs> you heard about it, right? I haven't heard about it. You heard, no, don't try and put me. <laughs> don't try, no, I see what you just did there. You Tell reversed me. it. He's like, no. Because I, I know you know. No, but he's made some really dodgy songs at the moment yeah, about. Yeah. I don't know if I can say it this time of morning, but yeah. it's, it's a bit dodgy. Oh, okay. And, um,. The dance or fraternity are not taking taken yeah. to it too well. Oh, okay. You know what I mean, okay. I know you've heard about it, but I like the way you switched that. <laughs> Tell me more. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. 
So what's what's what plans have you got for 2014 then? What plans you got? Shows and yeah, things like I'm that. Yeah, I'm starting the promo of Kisses. I also have another single out with a producer called Cove. Um, it's kind of like a housey tune I've heard called that. Where We At. Yeah, that's um circulating now as well. I like that. So there's them two. Um, I'm just I've got my first show on Saturday in Manchester. Okay. So I'm doing a live PA of Kisses. Um, there, which will be quite good. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, I'm just starting the promo for it, really. What's the music vibe like in Bradford? What are they into up there? Because you know, like you um, go to different areas, different regions. Yeah, they I like think different things. I think it's the same as London, really. Yeah. But um, a few years back, it was baseline. Like oh, with the whole yeah. with North and Midlands, it was like four by four baseline. That oh. was the thing. Mm. But right now, it's just house and all of that stuff it's just the same as here now okay okay cool any further collaborations that you'd like to work with anybody in the pipeline I know you say you've done the whole popcorn thing yeah anybody else that you got lined up yeah but I'm not telling you I can't can't tell you that one you're gonna have to wait and see <laughs> yeah. I know I can't be killing you like that but it's true I can't no no, no. Is, it, is it a big one then yeah like y- you'll definitely know who it is you definitely do know who it is well like Bounty Killer no it's not him <laughs> But, but I'm not telling you anyway, so don't. No! <laughs> There's no point guessing because I'm going to say no. <laughs> but yeah. Is so. it, is it going to be somebody that I wouldn't expect it to be, but they're big? Or is it, or have they been used already? No. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> you might, you might expect it, but it, he hasn't. When been the used manager in a while. starts giving you looks, that's when you know you need to just keep it moving. Because like he's getting involved, and he's like, nah. Next question. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, no comment. Yeah, no comment. <laughs> okay then. So Melissa still, we're waiting for this single yeah. with you and Mavado. We can't wait for <laughs> it. Oh my no. gosh! No, that's not true. That's not true. <laughs> I, I, listen, I want to be one of the first DJs to get yeah. hold of that joint. No. Oh, I'll let you know, but it's not featuring Movado. <laughs> okay, okay. All right. Anybody else? <laughs> I can't say. It's a surprise. Okay. So okay. you're going to have to be when, patient. When would the album be coming, though? Um, and how far I away are you I can't say. It? I can't say right now because I'm still in the middle of piecing it together. Right. Um, But next year-ish. 20, 2015. Yeah. How much involvement do you have? Like, we're writing um, production. Yeah, concerns. I... When when I'm in the studio, sometimes I do get, do get sent songs. If they're really really good, then I'll I'll want to record them. But um, I do like to have input in everything. So mm. I'll write. I'll go in the studio. We'll, me and the producer will start a song from scratch, and um, or I'll have a co-writer as well. I do like to write as much as possible, though. Like the thing is, right? What I was going to mention to you, like, I'm I'm not sure what route that you're going down because I know like you obviously you've been signed to a big label uh-huh. and things are gonna be big for you. Things are gonna be great. Uh-huh. I'm glad you're actually sitting here today, so we can have this conversation. Right. But okay. I don't know. This seems to be a sometimes. I don't know if you agree with me. A bit of a struggle promoting dance or music in the UK. Mm-hmm. Is that something that you've looked into before you even went into the industry? It's like. You know, I know that it gets played in the clubs and things like yeah. that. But is it hard to get your music promoted on radio in the UK? Um, well, I don't really, I don't think, it's actually doing quite well. I don't. Yeah. I haven't really had any thoughts of that. I mean, I, I know where you're going with it. Well, not, but... even, not even your track oh. in general. I'm talking about the genre itself. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> mm, yeah, I think I agree with you on that. Right. Like, like if it's straight up dance hall. Because, yeah. I mean, we do live in the UK. <laughs> like, if you go to Jamaica, it's everywhere. But yeah. I just think it's the culture. I just think it's the culture. Yeah, that's why I think it might be a bit more difficult to get played on the mainstream radio stations. Mm. But I've got faith in my track. I don't think it's hardcore dancehall, so I I think it's fine. I think it'll be fine. I've got faith in my no problem. No problem. How how long does it take you to do dub plates then? Because dub plates. Yeah. Yeah, I did yours yesterday actually. (laughs) 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 Thank you. Thank you. You should have brought. You should have brought me this. Just throwing it out there. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh god! Imagine she did a dub play for me and she didn't even tell me what she was gonna say. You just, you just oh, you'll see, you'll see. I'm singing something to you. Oh really? Yeah. McLean's toothpaste. I use you know. <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> you are hilarious. I'm just saying. But listen, it's been a pleasure for you to come here this morning. 
Thank you for having me. You're going to come me. again? Yeah, of course. When are you going to come again? When you ask me to come. I want you to come very, very soon. I like your vibe, man. Thank you. And I wish you all the success for 2014. Thanks. Do you know what I mean? And could you introduce your single this morning? Or before you do that, give out the information where they can correspond with you okay. this morning. You can follow me on Twitter at Melissa Steele, Instagram, Melissa Steele underscore, SoundCloud, Melissa Steele, <laughs> Facebook, search my name and you'll find me, um, YouTube, Melissa Steele. Do you follow back? Do you look at the profiles and go... <laughs> 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 if you ask me, if you ask me for a follow back, I'll follow you back. Okay, okay, I'm gonna tweet. Follow me back, please. <laughs> when you do that, you... no, I'll follow you though. <laughs> you <don't... Go. laughs> okay, introduce your single this morning, please. I'm Melissa Steele, and this is my new single, "Kisses for Breakfast," featuring Popcorn.